today I am here at the indoor yard sale. We're gonna head in and uh, see what I can find. This is one of the books my grandmother always read to us. Gus, the friendly dad, two of these hostess sets complete in their boxes. They're all white. see a brand on them, but it's cool that they're in the boxes. For stoneware by Noor, for four dollars. Each place is a different It's R.S. Precious for three bucks. So pretty. I love the roses. A little vintage piece for fifty cents. Pieces of Pyrex. This one's ten dollars, and this one is fifteen dollars. Full of Corel. It's not really in the best shape, but it's a pretty little design. Nice coach, twill and leather bag for a buck. Hope you enjoyed that bit of footage that I got there in the store. I spent a total of $3.50. So as I've told y'all in the past, as soon as you walk in the door, there's like three shelves full of freebie items. And I always look on there and sometimes I've been pleasantly surprised to find some cool items. So this week on the free shelf, I purchased these little bookends. These are perfect. I love these. They don't take up any room they're pr go pretty much undetected and um they're they're just perfect uh i previously had purchased some of these that i paid for but these were actually free so a gray set and a black set i'm going to plan to use these in the craft room to hold up my the the pouches that i put my collections in so those were free purchase this old a spool for a dollar I don't know what all that's about but this is, looks really nice with some vintage lace or vintage ribbon wrapped around it so I picked up that for one dollar I picked up some of these uh, scrabble tiles for one dollar I picked up this wonder book Casper the Friendly Ghost and Wendy the Good Little Witch. Here's all the books that were in the series with it. Hmm. Yes, I remember Casper the Friendly Ghost for sure. Let's see. What... What year is this? 1987. So it's not quite as old as I thought it would be, but I like it nonetheless. <laughs> uh, copyright 1963. So that must have been the first edition. And this is just a reprint. So picked that up. And then last but not least, I picked up a purse. And it is this, I can tell from the leather, as soon as I looked at it, that it was a nice quality bag. They had it marked for $1. It is a little faded. The leather is, um, is in need of some conditioning, which I do have leather conditioner. And so, we'll definitely get out my leather conditioner and uh, see if I can't uh, bring this back to to a good order. It is a coach bag. I do believe that it is a real coach bag. The leather is really nice. Does not feel to be, um, you know, not real. Very little wear in the bag. A little bit of pin marks over here, but nothing I can't live with. Live with. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great little bag. I just really wanted this for church. I have some black sandals that I like to wear during the summertime. And I thought this would look nice with those shoes. So that is it, guys. That is my haul. If you have enjoyed this video, 
please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Become a part of my friends here on YouTube and I will see each of you in my next video. Bye guys.